uh, Cliff Quicksell, who is the owner of Cliff Quicksell and Associates. Hey everyone, how's it going? There we go. Uh, I did a session today on the top 10, excuse me, that's, yeah, the, the top 10 things that clients really want. And I was encouraged when I saw this graphic come up with all those work because I've been accused a lot of times of being too optimistic. And I think that that's a choice. I mean, you can be, you can choose to be down in the dumps or you can choose to be optimistic about the things that you do. And I believe that 2022, like I said, 2021 was good for, it was a lot of challenges, there's no question. But what I found is the people that really got to know their customers, I mean, really got to know the customers, really succeeded very, very well. Now, I'm a big fan of promoting profitability. And for those of you who uh, were in my session, uh, there was a uh, study done years ago by B2B Magazine, and they asked the question of over 4,800 CMOs across the country, when you, you know, what are the, t what are the top 10 things that you look for in a strategic partner. And I asked my class today, I said, where do you think price was on the list? Somebody said down below, somebody said five, but the reality is it wasn't on the list. Because what clients are really, really looking for is they're looking for that connection. They're looking for people that really understand their business that have actively worked in that space at some uh, point in time. They're looking for innovation. They're looking for creativity. And you know, what better place to find it than in an ASI show? You're doing yourself a tremendous disservice if you walk this show tomorrow and walk up and say, scan me and send me two and walk away. If you're not asking deep questions of your, of your vendors out here and really getting to know them, what their capabilities are, what they can do, where you can now translate that information back to your customer when you go back to work, when you can do that, folks, I'm telling you, it's a game changer. Creativity, there's a, an acronym that I stole from, everybody know what R&D is, right? What? Not research and development. In my class, it's rip off and duplicate. So I do that often. Here's the thing. I learned this from a buddy of mine. He said, if, he says he uses an acronym called WISLITSI. If you want something, leverage the community. And we have an amazing community of suppliers here that are just dying to help you grow. But you can't walk into somebody's booth and just say, scan me and send me two and walk off. It doesn't work that way. Get to know them. Get to understand their business so that you can then, again, translate that to your customers and move that needle. It'll make a big difference. Selling products is great, don't get me wrong, but you can be one of the 97 percenters and just being out there selling product. But at the end of the day, if you sell a coffee mug and you sell a white sea handled coffee mug and you do too, what does it boil down to? Price. That simple. It's that simple. How do we elevate that game? How do we add packaging, creativity, innovation, creative theme development? How do we take those tools and put them into some type of format where guess what? You don't find that in the catalog. You don't find that on the web. It comes from that God-given gift that you have of this mind and your creativity. I believe that all of you can have an explosive year this year, like that word cloud said. And you can change a few things if you decide to do that. Tomorrow I'm doing a session on developing creative promos. I encourage you, if you can be there on the show floor from 11 to 12, get off your feet for about 50 minutes, I promise you, it'll be a game changer. One of the other things that we learned in my class, and I'll sum it up with this, is that when you travel, Make sure you carry clean underwear and your toiletries <laughs> with you. Last night, it took me 16 hours to get here from Maryland. I showed up, baggage claim, and they said, <laughs> we forgot to put your bags on the plane. So what you see here is two days worth of uh, clothing. <laughs> Keep your distance. <laughs> I promise you it's not pleasant. I'm not enjoying it much, but anyway. Love having you all here. 
Thanks, Michelle, for having me. This has been a pleasure, and I hope you all have a tremendous 2022. Thank you so much.